Ta da! <laughs> so. Oh. 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 <laughs> We're missing all the ears that hold this on. All, like all of them. Like all of them. Like this one's there, there but. Look at that. Hey, Atlas. Atlas, have we got an Atlas? <laughs> I'm not amused. I'm not amused by that at all. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Well, at least just go around asking people that have an Atlas. Why can't you do that? Because he doesn't fit in the bikini very well. <laughs> What's up, Life Right Nation? And welcome officially to Moab, Utah, to Area BFE for the beatdown where we will officially be qualifying for King of the Hammers 2021. It's midnight, the night before the big race. And Brittany's over here making numbers. No, it's not midnight, the night before the big race. <laughs> tomorrow's only Thursday, it but tomorrow's tech. It's the night before tech. Yeah. We bef don't have placards with our vehicle number on them. And so what am I doing? So we need four placards to go in the front, back, side, and side of the vehicle. And our number is 999. Um, and Which so Brittany's is a cool number, but it's a lot of numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of nines. So Brittany's over here. I traced up a nine, and cut it nines. out, and I got to color it in. Look, this is four out of twelve, and then I got to color them all in. They're half weird looking. I'm a guy our flowers. They're very weird looking nines, but they're nines. You're fucking fine. You're fine. Do you want to do it? Thank you. Do you want to do it? No. Okay, then. Unless we're upside down, then we'll be six six six. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go upside down. Don't go upside down. So there's our numbers Brittany did last night. We're here day one for tech and to figure stuff out and go free run. First things we have to do is learn the Lowrance system, the GPS Low navigation. Rants. Low Lowrance. And they give you a little SD card with it on there. And then you have to figure out how to use it. We don't know how. And what are you struggling with right now, Brittany? Where to put the fucking SD card? <laughs> So we heard these things are extremely difficult to even like use at all. They're like, yeah, good luck. You can't, they're not user friendly at all. And we've never used one before. Is there somewhere on the back that uh, it goes? <laughs> Am I missing? It says there's already a card inserted. None of those corners pop off. I already tried. That's not how it works. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> we're not off to a good start, guys. We are not off to a good start at guys. all. So tech technically isn't for a little while longer but we are allowed to go pre-run at lower speeds, which we're gonna go take advantage of just to get as much seat time as possible. But we did figure out the lower ends. Well, someone else did for us. So we were looking on all the corners because most phones or tablets- You'd think, right? You'd think and there's little things, but then guy comes over, he's like, oh no, I got you. Just right. peel that up. Boom, right there. Like what? <laughs> and then you load the map and as you can see, I'll quit touching the screen. You screwed what? up. You're so screwed there up. we go. So there's our map. There is a qualifying map and there is an actual race map. So originally the plan was for us to not actually race at all. We were literally just going to make it to the starting line, cross the starting line so we could qualify for King of the Hammers 2021. Yeah, so we were told this year that because of COVID and everything happening that they were kind of making an exception where all you had to do was show up, get to the starting line, start the race and then pull off, which is what we we're going to do because we can't afford to break this vehicle. But not just we can't <laughs> afford to, but we also don't have time between now and Trail Hero to fix it if we break it here and we need to practice at Johnson Valley, which is what we're doing right after Trail Hero. So originally we were just going to start, pull off, call it a day. We qualified. We're good to go. Let's practice at Johnson Valley. But Kevin here has decided that we need to race. So we'll 
We need to, this. We need no, the seat no, no, time. No, no, no. We wait, need wait, the seat wait, time. Wait, wait. Yeah. So everybody has talked both of us in to saying, you know, you need the seat time. You're not going to break the car, and if you break it, too bad, fix it. But everything you need the, you absolutely need the seat time. So. And there, there is a point to that because obviously we need to be familiar with this vehicle. I need to be familiar with the navigation system. We need to understand how badly it's going to beat the crap out of us. Although, again, keep in mind these shocks are still untuned. Yeah. Bring but, your notepad so you can take notes as we do the. Do I need a notepad? I don't know, I don't know how any of this works. Anyways, we're going to go pre run, I guess, and just see if we can practice a little. This is, this is going to be interesting. Our first pre-run, we just did one lap at like 25 mile an hour. Uh, pace, just like kind of cruising through. I mean, way faster than what you would do in a Jeep because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, way faster, but still slow. We didn't get anything on camera because it's it's it really will, bumpy. Also because I was just trying to figure out how to actually navigate with the lower ends and stuff like that. So I was yeah. actually focused on driving. I didn't film anything, but I'll put up the Osmo next time we get out on the course, which is a fun course. Uh, there's about really four fun. or five solid drop-offs that compress your spine pretty well. But aside from that, not too bad. Okay, so now that we ran the track and we ran some of the fuel out, we're gonna go ahead and start filling back up with this 102 because we had 91 and 93 in there and I don't want that in there. So we're gonna start filling it up. You can see it's got a really cool blue color and we've got a ton of these quick fills. It's supposed to fill it in like a matter of seconds. So you wanna grab my hose for me there, Jay? I got your hose, dog. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so after just going around one lap and we put some fuel in it and I started looking over the car, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Uh, Brittany's not here, which is why you have me right now. And the good news is I caught the problem. The bad news is there's a problem. <laughs> and before we get started, actually, I gotta give a huge shout out to North Shore Raceworks. These guys are absolutely awesome. They know this car in and out. They actually have, how many hours of racing do you guys, of seat time do you guys have in this thing? 2,000, 3,000 hours in this car? So these guys have like maybe 3,000 hours in this chassis, this exact chassis. They saw it, they were like, hey, that's super cool. You guys have this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And of course, look, there's a wonderful Jason and they're already wrenching on it. So North Shore Raceworks, we'll get to them in a minute. We'll talk to them more about it. But here's what happened. I started looking over the car, just making sure everything's okay. And I noticed there was a leak from the transfer case. Well, remember when I just jumped it and we broke that drive shaft? <laughs> Well, I think when we broke the drive shaft, we also broke the freaking transfer case output housing. Um, oh, man. Give me a minute, hey, I'll, me, get, I'll get to it. So, yeah, I know. so you can see there's a crack right there. That's pretty simple to see. What you can't see is there's another crack. That entire bottom ear down there is completely cracked off. Cracked off that. Ah. How do I? So this bottom ear is completely cracked all the way around. Uh, we're having to pull the drive shaft. We have to pull this carrier here. We gotta pull the yoke off. So all this is gonna come off and we're hoping that we can just unbolt this and then the guys here are gonna help us weld that back together. Whoa. Is it going anywhere? No, I told you, was it in park? It's in four wheel drive and in park. Okay. <laughs> Good thing it was in four wheel drive, huh? Remember that time I got ran over? <laughs> <laughs> you just lay down underneath it. So if you guys ever pull the drive shaft on your Jeep or vehicle or anything, make sure the wheels are chalked. Our wheels are not chalked, but the other thing you can do is make sure it's in four wheel drive. Yeah, hopefully we'll make pretty short work of this and we'll be able to get back out there and have some fun, I hope. We sure try. We sure gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> so that took Good maybe day. 20 minutes. You see all the parts here, pry bars, everything. What did you find, Jason? Look, 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 it's a little crackhead. Look, see? Look, crack, it's crack, crack, cracked. Crack over here. Cracked. Cracked this whole ear off. Cracked. Oh, all so over. So every single one of those off. are cracked. So no wonder it was leaking. That is something else. At least, at least you caught it, bud. I did catch it. That's amazing. But what Let's do we do now? See. We've got some double mint and some duct tape, and we're gonna hope it all sticks together. <laughs> I come bearing gifts, and just in time because, ta-da! <laughs> so 
Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing all the ears that hold this on. All, like all of them. Like all of them. The, like this one's okay. there, but. Look at that. This one's there, but I can like literally pull it off. It's like a it's like a loose tooth. Hey, hey Atlas. Atlas, have we got an Atlas? <laughs> I'm not amused. I'm not amused by that at all. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Well, at least just go around asking people if they have an Atlas. Why can't you do that? Because he doesn't fit in the bikini very well. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, lucky for us. I did not have to walk around the camp in a bikini asking for spare parts. <laughs> that was a joke. I wasn't going to make you do that. Anyways, so lucky for us, uh, North Shore Raceworks has the part we need. So it's a little bit different though. So you'll see here where or you got to imagine the little ears on ours where it's all broken. Well, look, so see this one ear here? Every single one had an ear. Well, they I guess- They have the same part, but I assume it's stronger because instead of ears, yeah. it's actually round but this should fit on ours. So he, they literally had, what, what did you have here? <laughs> well, this is a spare case for our race car. It's a little bit different just because this is a driver's drop and not a passenger drop, but typically most of the parts are swappable back and forth. So this is just a little bit newer case, a little bit stronger bearing retainer, and we're gonna swap it out and get you guys back get on the road. Get us back on the road. And how, lu how lucky though, and these are literally the guys that have thousands Dude, of hours. Know, so ironically enough, I don't know if Kevin told you this earlier, but the car used to be called Ginger, which is funny because we have the stepchild. Anyways, this is gonna work perfectly. And honestly, we owe a ton to you guys, not just for this, but for all the hours you put into that because yeah, we, Obviously. we had a lot of fun with that car. Okay, well, let's get this cleaned up and yeah. freaking get it on the car. What's your favorite smell in the world, Kevin? Oh, gear oil. It smells fantastic. Like, if you've never had a gear oil bath, I suggest it. Like, just go and. Like, you should bottle it and create a cologne with it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes all the girls love you, it brings all the girls to the yard. Brittany, go get on the rocket. Okay, so it is officially qualifying day. I don't know where he just went. I have no idea what just happened. All right, you guys, so today is officially qualifying day. We got the Atlas back together, thanks to our good friends over at North Shore Raceworks. Those guys saved our butt huge. Big time. <laughs> huge. Because now we're ready for actually qualifying. We just finished the driver's meeting and we found out that it is not five laps. Not, not six, six laps. laps. Not seven laps. Eight laps. <laughs> we have to do eight entire laps and i know that you guys haven't seen what the course is like at the moment but it is more than five miles of beat the ever living piss out of you yeah we, it's, it's really hard to film this at all because it's so remember much. we're new to this and i'm not used to having to film in an open vehicle with a freaking you know ls3 powered rah, you know with the audio and we've I have to figure this out. Yeah, so this, this isn't going to be the best video for in-rig <laughs> filming. I'm going to figure it out in the next couple of weeks so that I can get good footage for this when next time we do it. But anyways, but just, you know, eight, like imagine like the 24 hour hell and back or the trail to SEMA, but on steroids because you have someone punching you in the kidneys every half second. Well, race pace is different than the just trail, like trail pace. It's yeah. 10 times faster. <laughs> it is absolutely insane, but we're, uh, we're about to line up. We're about to go qualify and uh, wish us luck. I'm I'm getting nervous because this is this is big boy sh right here. This is like we're you guys got to keep in mind we have never raced professionally in really any <laughs> motorsport. I mean, drifting's always fun, but I mean again, this is it's different. never been professional. Like it's never been on this level. And some of these dudes here, they are in it. You have all the Campbells here. Winter. You yeah. have you have Bond Lauren Juniors Healy, here, Lauren Bond Healy. Junior. Yeah, it's it, yeah it. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna go uh, qualify and see how we do. We're gonna, you know, we haven't done a full race speed uh, on the short course, the qualifying course, but hopefully it 
Yeah. Hopefully we don't break anything and no one dies and we do well. Let's get to it. Wish us luck. <laughs> Good. Like I was cruising through, we didn't hit anything hard, and I was max on the throttle a lot. What was my time? That was so I don't even know rad. what our time was. Dude, that was so freaking rad. We did perfect. We went fast where we knew that we were comfortable going fast, and I think on those last couple corners we did really well in terms of hitting them, hitting them as fast as we could for what we're familiar with. I mean, yesterday is essentially the first seat time we've ever had in this car. Yeah. So, fuck yeah. I need a beer. That is so much fun. Oh my God. That's a rush. That is a rush. Oh man, all that was, it was so, it felt so good. We, I mean, I could have gone a little faster. Plug, plug. plug. <laughs> I could have gone a little faster down in the valley down there with the rocks, but it's not worth it. Did I pee or am I just sweating that much? I mean, you're just sweating. Hopefully, you're just sweating. Just, this is, oh, just so you know, suit. I'm saying this is because this is Jason's suit. I'm just borrowing it for the day because I got my own coming. <laughs> Don't twist it, Simon. I am so freaking proud of him. He did. That was absolutely freaking perfect. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from. All right, guys, so it is Saturday race day. We are on grid right now. You can see, show and Brittany, we have everybody here. We have, we have like 20 minutes before the race We have 20 starts. minutes before the race. What's cool is we've got all three bombers that are in the race right here. Bomber. I think, is it only Bomber. three? Is, it all, is there more than three? But this is Randy Slauson. This is the guy that actually creates, builds, designs he all built. of this our chassis which yes. is freaking rad and we're, we're we're starting close to him at least so we didn't say it a second ago but we did find out our time was one minute 20 seconds and some change which means that we placed 30th or we qualified 30th out of 44 4400 cars in this ultra four race yeah i'm not really mad at that uh i wish i would have done a little bit better now that i watched it i know where i could have gone faster but i our really first time really safely i think i've only could have shaved about three or four seconds off safely dude uh, if, obviously like, you guys saw the footage some of those dudes two, were flying <laughs> some of those dudes were flying off of those yeah. rocks and again remember our original plan here wasn't even really to race it was just to pass the starting line pull off and then save the vehicle for obviously practicing out in johnson yeah. valley and then everybody here talked us into no you got to race you need to see time just do it so it's you good know what? we're here let's do it it um, gives us an idea of what it's like to actually be in an ultra four race what it's like to compete because this is gonna be gnarly like i dude we've only done two pre-run laps and then we did the qualifying lap we practiced it like twice and i already feel like i've been freaking hit by a mac truck like <laughs> anyways so we've got, we've got 15 20 minutes and then we're gonna be racing and my main two goals is a to make sure we don't get run over from behind. So we are gonna be pulling over. If someone comes up and they are in it to win it, we're definitely gonna pull over. We don't wanna stop anyone and we don't wanna get hit. 
and we don't have any adapters for the audio for the DJI Osmo. So unfortunately, we're not gonna have much audio. So what Brittany's gonna do is she's gonna kind of try to record from her phone every once in a while, but- We'll see how that goes. It's a race though. car, guys. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, next next time we'll have it all set this is, up. This is a full test run for us. We're trying to figure out what we need, how it's gonna work out. Yeah. And uh, hopefully next time it'll be even more rad. But for now, this is gonna be interesting. So keep your fingers crossed. Wish us luck. Here we go. You got your helmet strap, Brittany? I always forget to strap my freaking helmet, which is like the worst thing that you want to do. It's okay, I'll help you. I got your back, homie. Jason knows to check now. Oh God, I got something in my eyeball. riding shotgun and we had a good talk with them yesterday and they were the biggest smiles I have seen in a long time. They are excited to be here racing with us at Old Ford. Before we even get into this, I mean, that was, you might as well just step into a UFC ring and have somebody just beat you up for four <laughs> just hours. Just punch you in the neck, in the Holy back, crap. in the But hips. hold on, before we get into any of this, there was 44 cars that started, and I want to show you real quick how many cars are here. 44 cars started the 4400 class race at this Ultra 4 event. That's Please? how many finished. Look, anyways, we'll find out exactly how many people finished, but almost the entire, entire I wish, race. I wish like, I could have gotten, I mean, everybody here that's even seasoned, is talking about how brutal it was. My power steering was like done on the third lap where I had to always be in throttle. So I literally power steering had, to, stopped working. I had to ride the brakes for five laps the whole time. Brakes and gas the entire time. Our Sometime, brakes are done, our power steering's done. Also before we started, Kevin thought it would be a bright idea to put a hoodie underneath his racing seat to help with cushioning. Terrible idea. By the third lap, he had no circulation in his feet or his legs. Like he was like, so, I can't feel so my feet I anymore. So what happened was my, my legs started cramping. Both thighs were cramping and I couldn't feel my feet or my butt. So I stopped, I undid my harness. We had to take about 10 minutes to pull over and stop. Yeah, I stopped, undid my harness. As soon as I undid my harness, I felt the blood rush to my butt, my legs and my feet and I passed out. Dude, we had to stay another five minutes. So we were pulled over for about 15 minutes on, like just off, off course because he was so lightheaded that he couldn't actually drive the vehicle safely. So 
they, but I think so the thing is we didn't finish at 6 30 the race was supposed to be from 3 to 6 30 but the race didn't start until 3 15 and then we were 30th so we didn't start for about 20 minutes behind number one and we finished at like 650 something so we might have actually completed all know. eight laps in our first ultra four race in time and if we see. did that's gonna be the nervous thing but the time isn't even a big deal dude. they're full of crap they didn't even race <laughs> Well, so, so this is Dave Cole. Thank this you. Is, this it's is Dave Cole. This is the guy. This, this is, is the guy the, that runs King of the Hammers. This is This is it. Ultra Four oh, Racing Team. Right. You guys finished your first race. We finished. <laughs> I was driving. I was driving. Kevin I drove. Drive. I co-drove. Holy oh, shit. That was a, that was brutal, man. <laughs> that was that. So the yeah, eight you. laps. Oh, about five, just over five miles, I think, each lap, and we finished, guys. We finished. Dude, good job. So guys. good job. Dude, real quick though, I have to say, none of this. 100% would have been possible without Jason with us. Again, Jason Stacy is a good friend. He's been following us with the Gladiator for the last couple months. And holy crap, he's not only helped us with the GoPros and all the digital stuff, he helps me buckle in, he helps us get us ready. Uh, he's been just a general, all around, perfect, like, like. One man entourage? He is our one man entourage, man. Light Bright Nation, Jason, Brittany, Kevin, Light Bright Nation, we finished! All right, you guys, so day after the race, uh, we definitely feel like we were in a four hour car wreck or that we were run over multiple times by a dump truck. It was bad, it was real bad. I mean, it was real fun, but it was bad. Like I've never, I've never been through that much pain on purpose in my life. But we will be going over the race in a ton more detail in a future video because so much went on on the track, on the trail, on course that we weren't really able to go over or show you guys and I really, yeah. really want to, so stay tuned for that. We got to learn a lot. We got to learn a lot, a lot about us, about the rig, about what we need. And we want to share it with all of you guys, but what you guys have all been waiting for, we want to go over how we placed because we finally figured it out. They posted it late last night. We wanted to wait till this morning to share it with you, so. I qualified, we qualified 30th out of 44. There so are 44 registered 4,400 cars for the 4,400 class. Yes, and we qualified 30th. And there were only 17 that actually finished all eight laps. 17. And out of those 17, guys, we placed 14th. 14th. On our first ever Ultra 4 race 4,400 unlimited class event ever in the history of Life Right Nation. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> guys, we're, we're stoked about this, guys. We finished the ultra four race and only 17 out of 44 rigs can say that that's insane and it is that's super crazy you can ask any of the other drivers that were there that course beat the shit out of you beat it was the <laughs> ever living crap out of you it was bad but of course guys we didn't do it by ourselves without jason's help of course without bill stein's help we have to say thank you to them and without the help of a lot of the shops that have already helped us along our way stacked off road and high lift off road did an enormously amazing job helping us get this together and ready for this race. Yeah, those companies, High Lift and Stack, man, they, they took care of leaks, skid plates, put the shocks on it. I mean, they got this thing. If it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be ready. It's, it's crazy. And of course, it's going to be a team effort from here on out as well. This is going to be a team dream without you guys and without the help of these companies that are going to help sponsor us, not just financially to make this possible because racing is not cheap. We're figuring that out real quick, but also helping us with the work and the parts and making sure we have a rig that can cross the finish line at King of the Hammers 2021. Guys, stay tuned for the next video. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Life Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All your Life Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. We love you, and we will see, see you next time. time. Later, guys. Ibuprofen and naps. Yes. What are you doing? Just come over here. Jason's like dead asleep. Come here. Okay, come on. Come on. What are you doing? No, you are wet. You have to lay right there. You can't. No, that's fine. That's fine. Right there. You're still wet. They do. 
got a bath. She had ultra four dust all over.